if you do this right, what I'm about to tell you, and I say this, it's not a religious statement, it's not a, you know, a statement in theology or, or any of that, it's my experiential truth. If you do this right, this will be the biggest spiritual experience you will have, whatever that means to you. Which is what? Which is, of everybody that's sitting here, you all think you know what you want. You really do. And I was convinced I knew it. You don't. 99% of you really don't. You think you want this thing, but you, what you really want is that feeling that thing will give you. But that feeling is not even what you want, because having that feeling makes you feel another feeling. There's layers to this. So go in right here. Forget everything. Go right in here and really figure out what it is that you want. That's step number one. Because everything else you'll hear today about how to create this beautiful life that you want, it's powerful technology. You will use it. You will apply it. It'll work for you. Just don't create stuff that really wasn't for you, because that'll be a waste. Right? And so, so what does that look like? Well, if you read the book, you've, uh, you know about the declarations. That's where it starts. Right? And Steve often talks about don't put you know, lipstick on a pig. And I want to expand on that because it's really true. It's really true. What you don't want to do is it's like, oh, yeah, I saw somebody's statements. And you know, those sound good. And this one sounds good. And I'm going to take that. And I'm going to you know, do. Don't fucking do that. You'll miss the whole point. The whole point is to take all of this consciousness that's been flowing out of you through all of your senses to go and create out in this world. Bring it all back in here. Sit with it. There's intelligence in it. It knows. It can guide you. Get to that place. Ask that place what it is you want. And I promise you it won't be things. It won't even be feelings. As much as I love relationships, it's not going to be a relationship. For me, what, what turned out of the entire conversation was I want to know, which I do now, that I'm okay. Okay. No matter what the fuck happens outside, I'm always okay. I'm not, I'm not just saying that. My entire work with Steve has been about this. Has it manifested physically into other areas of my life? Of course. But as Steve calls it, that's the booby prize or consolation prize. Right? So, invitation to you. Turn everything else off. Take a month, two months, three months. My process with Steve was close to six months. Go back in here. It knows. And figure out what it is you want before you start creating this dream life. And, and, and don't put lipstick on a pig. Do the work. And if you do it, just doing that work will be the most profound spiritual shift you've ever had in your life. And you'll be like, oh, I already have everything I want inside. Huh. That's weird. <laughs> now, from that place... Then go play. Go create. Create businesses, relationships. You know, if you're single, whatever. Do whatever you want to do, right? Just, but get to that place first because everything you're trying to do is to get to that place. You have it backwards. Get to that place first and from there, do whatever makes your heart melt, right? So that's the first point I want to talk about.